Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Lily, and today we're playing some more Home Chef Hustle. It's a beautiful Saturday morning and Gloria is here trying to convince our customer to buy her excellent berry waffles. And today Lana is out here helping, greeting the customers and helping her mom out. And you know guys, in the last episode, I was so absorbed in the gameplay, I missed all of the details of what this pack really has. I know everyone oohs and ahs about the appliances and stuff. Let me go back to her aspiration as a market magnate. I was focused so much on her selling items that I didn't even consider selling five excellent pizzas or waffles. So that's what we're focusing on today. So today I am going to make sure she is selling items that are excellent. So we have some berry waffles that are excellent quality. And right now we already sold two, which is great. And I also wanted to mark up the prices to like 50% just because she's selling excellent quality items and all of her vegetables and fruits are from her garden. And also with this aspiration, once she completes it, she's going to be able to claim the reward trait booth boss, which can set higher markup prices and are more successful at convincing customers to buy while using food stands and sales table. So I am all for that because it's a Saturday. I don't want to be at the stall all day, but let's go to her husband, Les, and I have him in here. Look at him. Oh, look, she did it. Yeah, she did it. So we got that part done. So now we have to move on to tier number two, Nom Nom Nomad. Run food sales from two different lots. Convince customers to buy something five times during a food sale. All right, so change of plans. We're gonna be working on this tier today. But let's get back to her husband, Les. I had him working on handiness. I'm having him upgrade the parts. He has fixed almost everything that's broken in the house, toilets, sinks, and so forth. I bought him some upgrade parts, but I do wanna change his aspiration from Renaissance Sim to the other aspiration that came with the pack. And that's the appliance whiz. I wanna give him appliance whiz. Did he finish this? Perfect, so we have Speedy Bake. So for the new aspiration appliance whiz, he has to collect prepped ingredients five times while inspired and own one small kitchen appliance. And if he completes this aspiration, he could get the reward trait batch cook. Sims with this reward trait get duplicates of any recipe they cook with prepped ingredients. So we could work on that for him. But for now, let's go back out to the sale. Let's see how everything's moved. Everything is sold out. So let's end this sale. So today she made $66 from selling nine of her berry waffles, which is awesome. I'm going to have her clean up this. Let me clear the table, clear the table. So we made it to Hinford on Bagley and we are at the food stall, of course. We're going to haggle because we are low on funds. And of course, she has turned us down. So don't worry. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to buy the items that we need to plant. So that way we can have our fresh ingredients. So I want one pepper. I'm going to get one of each because we don't need a whole lot. We're going to get an onion, mushroom, spinach, and tomato. And let's see from fruits. What can we get? Let's get a blueberry, a choco berry. And let's get a raspberry. So $113 isn't that bad. Now that we're finished our shopping, we're gonna go over to this little coffee shop, have a little coffee, take a look around. Let's have them order their coffee, order a drink for here. I can see her drinking coffee latte. And let's order Lena a drink for here. And I can see her drinking an espresso. And there are new Sims here. So maybe, is she a teen? Yeah, she is. So let's have Lana do a friendly introduction. Grab your drink. Oh no, she grabbed it. Are you kidding me? The barista's leaving. What? Come on, drink this. Oh no, I forgot that she has the pizza in here. I hope it doesn't go spoiled. One hour and 14 minutes. Let's grab it out. And let's have everybody this is so rude but we're gonna have everyone grab a serving together the coffee date was a bust but we could still have some delicious pizza let's have some pizza so gloria wants to take this time just to catch up with lana just to see how she's adjusting with the move her new school lana did express that she was having a hard time with school she's currently a c student the bar is barely moving 
Even though she works hard when she goes to school, it still doesn't budge. So I'm thinking we have to do more for her. She is a goal oriented person and she wants to join a after school activity. So we have to pick one that suits her personality. So she loves singing. She's a level five in singing. She has five in guitar. She's been baking to get her skill up. And I also got her the baking book so she could build her skill. And Gloria is gonna have to start using that book too because she has to build her skill. Here it is, the baking volume two book. I want them to start baking more so they could sell different items at their stall. And there is a barista here. So let's Lana come and order her coffee. We're here and she's gonna do the espresso. And who's this guy? Aaron, he's a teen, let's introduce ourselves. Let's discuss interest. And because she's a music buff, let's have her discuss her favorite band. Alana has learned that Aaron is a music lover too. That's awesome. These two are definitely hitting it off as friends. That's awesome. Let's ask him about his day. <laughs> Look at mom, she's like, uh, this is awkward. So let's try ordering our coffee one more time. Can I have a cafe latte, please? And this time, I used the to-go cup, so that way I know it's hers. A cafe latte to go, please. Thank you. Extra whip. And we'll have Lana rave about her favorite singer. What does she want to do? Clean the whiteboard at school, and she wants to dance to the stereo music. She finally got her coffee. And it's finally a nice coffee date. <laughs> Um, let's tell her a heartfelt compliment. Let her know that you really appreciate all of her hard work that she's been doing around the house, helping Zion with his homework and getting him up in the morning. Let her know you're appreciative. But for now, we're going to just head out, go back home because it's already seven o'clock. Like, where does the time go? It's almost 10 o'clock and the guys are still out fishing. So we're going to send them home because it is super late. Yeah, our boy Zion, he is ready to pass out. Lana's playing the piano and Gloria, she's taking a bath. So it's the next day and the family has just finished eating breakfast and they're just doing a little bit of tidying up, having some conversation about the day. And guys, today they had their pumpkin spice waffles. Just look at the pumpkin spice waffles. They're half eaten, but and they're only normal quality. So I can't wait for Gloria to up her cooking skill so that she's making top tier waffles. Let's have her put them away. Now on today's agenda, we're gonna have less plant the items that Gloria purchased yesterday. And I think I want to work on her aspiration to run the food sale from two different lots. So we're gonna probably do that today. And we're gonna convince customers to buy something five times. Oh, and I swapped out the swatch of this cookbook because I wanted a little bit more tabs on it. And we're gonna pretend that this is Gloria's mom's cookbook that she passed down to her. But we're gonna have Gloria come up here and cook some waffles. She could do chicken and waffles now, but I wanna stick to something easier so that it comes out excellent quality. So I'm gonna have Les come out here and plant all this stuff. We have the peppers, we have the onion, we have blueberries up here. Let's plant that and we have spinach. And then we're gonna plant the mushroom and his tomato. And what I also did, because he picked up um, handiness, I got him the woodworking bench. And look at all the stuff he's been making. <laughs> he's also good at crocheting. Like he's been doing really good. So if our funds are really low, maybe we'll set a regular market um, stand out and let him sell his goods because we need money. As much as I love the waffle sales, it doesn't make money. Let's collect these waffles and let's do another batch. Let's do berry waffles. And let's hope that these are excellent quality because that's what we're aiming for. Yes, these are excellent. So I'm going to put these out on the stand while she is waiting for the other stuff to cook. I'm gonna have her come out here and start the sale. So let's convince some customers to buy some of our pumpkin spice waffles. And I think the markup price is already at 50%. We're gonna do 75. Because to be honest with you, we need money. 
I'm a little nervous. We didn't get bills yet. And with this house, I don't know what the bills are. So I'm a little nervous. Come on, let's convince these guys to buy something, Gloria. Stop talking to Atlanta. Atlanta. No. Yes, let's convince Bob to buy some of these waffles. And let's convince Micah as well. Eliza's back. Convinced to buy. Let's go. Let's convince to buy. Why is everybody going home? Is it because our prices are too high? Come on. All right, we're going to mark these prices down again. Let's see. Mark these prices back to 50%. Okay, you see how they're buying them now? But I don't know if it's being from convincing. No. Gloria wants to complete a work task. So what I did, I did register them as self-employed. Mom's Healthy Foods is a fast and healthy food shack that serves the highest quality waffles, pizza, burgers, and salads using fresh ingredients to hungry and health-conscious customers in Brindleton Bay. I got her self-employed, but they still have wants to do work tasks. I don't know how to get around that. Should we get less in her side job? I don't know. Everything is sold and we didn't get not one sale through convincing and make we made $80. But we're going to go back inside and we're going to make some pizza so we could go somewhere else to sell. And let's have Gloria cook some pizza. Let's do, this looks so good. I can't wait to get our tomatoes. So let's do a pizza marinara and let's do um, a cheese pizza. Great, Les is working on that. And we have Gloria on the pizza. All right, and our first pizza is done and we're gonna have her make the cheese pizza. She's getting pretty good at this. Look at her. Before the dough is dropping. We're going to go to the park to start the sale. So we made it to the park. And this is a real cute park. I think we just set her up here. We'll do it here. And we'll drag the pizzas on. Let her start a food sale. Oh, were those pizzas excellent quality? I didn't check. And let her tend the table. Yeah, pizzas are excellent quality. Now we just have to convince her customers to buy something five times. The same customers. I was hoping someone different. Hey, Vanessa. Can I interest you in some of our pizza? What do you say? Do you want the pizza or not? How about you, Marcus? Can I convince you fresh tomato sauce? Great crispy crust. What do you say? Hey, someone bought something for nine dollars but oh look look at her candy just comes up here buys a slice of pizza nothing needed that's what i'm talking about girl she did it thank you so much Mai. she was able to convince her to buy the pizza awesome all right let's convince brandy oh we can't because we just convinced her she must wait to try again all right we got that we had a free fall of being able to convince, but when we're on this tier, we have to wait for a buffer. So we can't just do convince five times back to back. I got it. All right. That makes it a little bit more difficult, but I like it. I like the challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, she's happy. She has a satisfied customer. That's what's up. Okay, guys, we are able to convince. Are we going to convince this guy, Micah? or Bob to buy the cheese pizza. Convince him to buy the cheese pizza. He didn't take the bait. This is really unfortunate. Let's try Vanessa again. Come on, Vanessa, you wanna convince, I'm gonna convince you to buy this cheese pizza today, like right now. You're gonna buy it. Hey, Candy, you're back, welcome back. No, she don't want it. Look at Candy, she just buys it, go girl. Lauren, can I convince you since Vanessa's being uppity? So Lauren, I'm trying to sell our last cheese pizza. Fresh ingredients. Cows are grass-fed. Would you be interested? Nope, I don't think she was either. Come on, Micah. Bye, girl. Take care. He just bought the pizza. I didn't even convince him, so that's not a go. Let's try Marcus again. Come on, Marcus. 
convince. So I'm assuming that we don't have to do this in one try because it's nearly impossible to do it in one, one go. So I'm thinking, look at Eliza. Go ahead, girl. I don't have to say anything to her. She just comes up and picks it up and buys. She doesn't, I don't have to say anything. No sales pitch, no hello, anything. Hey girl, you're back. Can I convince you? No, I don't want a sales pitch. I want to convince you to buy my food, my last cheese pizza. And Gloria is really working up on her charisma scale. Look at that, level seven. It sounds like she's happy about it, but she doesn't buy it. So what's going on? All right, let's end this food sale and let's head home. Next time we come here, we're going to bring Zion. There's all these kids here. Look at these little cute kids, Quinn Spin um, Springer. Let's pack up your stall and let's throw these away. We don't want to litter in the park. We'll see you guys at home. It was a great day today. Everyone is now tuckered out. Gloria is in bed, Lanta is in bed. Zion's asking his dad to read him a book. This is so sweet, I love it. Everyone is taking it down for the evening, so I'll end this part here. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and are enjoying my content, be sure to subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in another video soon.